Currently the morning of the 2nd of July 2021, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. A lot going on, all thanks to a positive pulse with the Matt and Julian oscillation here uh, across the western Pacific from this upper level low north of Guam across the Philippine Sea as well. There's just all sorts of convection. I'll get to that in just a second, but I do want to mention this. Uh, what has been taking place for the last few days, the tall volcano has been venting, making for a beautiful sunrise. You can see right there, problem is still a possible eruption. We already actually seen one eruption. It's up to a level three now, uh, according to uh, the agencies there. And that was the eruption from earlier today out there on the volcano. It's also been spreading a lot of sulfur dioxide, so making the, for those hazy sunrise and sunsets. That was what we call a vog. It's kind of volcanic ash and pollution. Uh, mixed together, which is creating some problems in a few areas of your respiratory issues. Uh, might be hard to breathe at times in some of these locations. Very typical, you know, for volcanic eruptions. Nothing unique to the Philippines. Uh, just common around volcanoes when they do e erupt as well. So, you know, we're keeping an eye on that. Uh, I can't forecast and tell you if it's going to erupt or not. That's not my specialty at all. But I do know that the agencies there are watching it. All right. Uh, what would not be good if this was mixed in with a tropical system, though? As I mentioned, we do have that positive pulse in the Madden Julian Oscillation here currently in the Western Pacific. Now it is expected to move away throughout the rest of the month uh, across the Indian Ocean in just the next uh, week now. But since we, the energy is there now, it means we have plenty of moisture, a lot of that extra instability and convection. This is that atmospheric moisture through uh, the weekend in the early part of next week. And you just see the ECMWF kind of pulling that west, just increasing showers across Manila, across southern Luzon, and also even into parts of uh, northern Luzon, where I do know you need the rainfall. My goodness, uh, it is so dry out there. So an increase in rain uh, would be very welcomed. At least at this time, though, guidance does not really organize this. More or less kind of this monsoonal low or gyre, if you will, where there is a circulation. But it more or less is just the interaction uh, with that southwesterly flow and the easterlies kind of butting up against each other, which can create a low pressure area at times. Basically, like, you, you know, your hands are rubbing against each other uh, and you, let's say you're spitting a pencil in between or like let this clicker right here. That's kind of this low pressure area here. So it's enough to create instability, though. It's enough to create uh, some scattered showers and for sure an increase in precipitation. There's my good old favorite SpaghettiOs. You know, if you, I, I've been using these a lot Lately. I absolutely love them, but the key thing is that the guidance really coming together, not on a big storm, but really a broad low, all the outputs showing something moving over Luzon, and thus that would be obviously an increase in the total rainfall. These darker reds showing upwards about one, maybe upwards of 200 millimeters, even in that last few shots right there, you can see around Manila as you go ahead and through the fourth into the fifth, where they really get an increase right there. Now, this particular guide, it's not saying these areas are going to get this exact amount, but it, this really shows you that there will be an increase in precipitation. Tropical systems this time of year, though, in the Philippine Sea, not uncommon. Uh, also, we have very warm sea surface temperatures on top of that, so all sorts of convection could lead, at the very least, um, to a tropical wave here coming on shore. At the very most, we could see, you know, a tropical system. I don't think... Uh, Bagasta is going to get around to naming it at the current forecast, but it's definitely possible. So make sure you know your cyclone warnings. If, if it does become a tropical depression, that's where we get signal force one indicating about those 30 to 60 kilometer per hour winds. Still going to keep an eye on it. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, so this is new. Stick around, don't go anywhere because I still have some things I want to talk about with you guys. See this graphic right here? I just asked Metro Weather for this one. We're going to have nice flyovers in these updates. Oh, goodness, it's going to be beautiful. Even stuff like this, these explainers. Uh, it's coming, guys. It is. It is. Uh, I got the appointment scheduled to start installing. I, I, but it's going to be about a month, though, because everything takes time to get in. They have to remotely install it and set up all these shows for me. But, whoo, it is very exciting. And I can't do this without the support on Patreon. I'll put a link down below if you guys really want to help me out here. Um, typhoons, your super typhoons as well. The, God, these, these legends don't make $10 a month. I mean, uh, it, it really helps out uh, just because uh, out of pocket, I'm paying a lot 
to get these graphics set up. But I do think it is worth it. I think it helps you guys out. And, and you know, eventually with the Patreon, uh, be able to pay it back. So, I mean, that's so the money's just kind of second. But it helps. It helps getting this all up and running. So if you guys want to check that out, please Please take a look at it at the very least. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on these social media platforms. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe out there. And ooh, almost dropped my clicker. And um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Bye.